This week, we are talking about how to respond to somebody when you're recruiting and that position is no longer available. Hi guys, it's Joanna Scullion here and I'm a HR consultant with over 20 years business experience. So this week in our HR in the Spotlight, we're talking about that rather rare but not unheard of situation where a business advertises for a vacancy and then for some reason or other throughout the course of that vacancy they no longer need it or they're putting it on hold for a couple of months for further down the line. So what do you do as a business owner when you have a number of people who've already applied for that vacancy but you don't actually have a vacancy to offer them? Well the simple thing is you write to them and tell them. You communicate with them. It's not it's anything shameful, it's not anything to hide. These things happen and they're sent to test us. But the most important thing for you as a business owner is to be respectful for the people who have taken time and effort to send an application to your business and also be very aware of the professional reputation that you want to create by communicating with them early and letting them know what's happening. So in this little free template, another little freebie that I've created for you, this very simple template, again, you can use it as a letter or an email, responds to those particular candidates and explain them what has happened in this situation. It lets them know that the job they've applied for either isn't available anymore or it's on hold pending operational review and it gives them a timeline of when you might want to respond to them in the future. It apologises for the inconvenience and again it thanks them for taking the time to get in touch. Short and sweet as a lot of them are but it's an important tool again to communicate with those individuals and let them know what's happening in your business because hopefully Perhaps in a month down the line, when the situation, whatever that situation is, has settled down, you might be in a position to reopen that vacancy and you don't want to waste any of those candidates that your current, or sorry, your previous recruitment drive had gathered for you and you want to take those applications and proceed them through the recruitment process as normal. This little letter, make sure those people were communicated, they respect what happened, they understand what had happened and hopefully they're still interested in your business if you choose to go back to them. That's it guys. That's that one, another little HR in the spotlight, done and dusted. Um, I would love to hear from you. Make sure you click in the link below to download the template. And once you've done so, let me know, is that something you'd find useful in your business? Has this ever happened to you? Have you tried to recruit and then had to stop for some reason during the process? That's it for now, guys, and I'll see you very soon.